people who are trying, who are kind of probably at the beginning of their career, or maybe aspiring to be at the beginning of their career. Um, and so, so this is not a, this is not a, I gave a talk two days ago about creating apprenticeship programs. So this is, that'd be a talk at people who have that kind of authority and power to be able to create apprenticeship programs as a hiring mechanism or an onboarding mechanism. This is, this is basically career guidance for new programmers. So um, it doesn't mean it's only like, if you're not a beginner, like you should leave. It, I'm just, but this, you know, obviously just kind of repurpose this for your own like mentoring or coaching that you do or a team leading or whatever it is um, with, uh, with developers. So yeah, let me uh, get into it and just talk a little bit about, a little bit about my background with this. Um, my apprenticeship story. Uh, so I was like, like, uh, like a lot of people in software development, uh, kind of late to the game. In my mid-20s is when I uh, switched into technology and learned HTML. Slowly, slowly switched into technology. Learned HTML in 1999 and uh, joined a, a little education startup near Chicago in 2000 and, and uh, as a content contributor and um, HTML editor and all that good stuff. Um, and then in order to keep my job as the dot-com bubble burst, I um, needed to learn Perl. Um, and that was like a, one of my big first opportunities to become a programmer. Um, started apprenticing, quote unquote, in 2000. A really good book called Software Craftsmanship 